Anga's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken brawl to exit. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Anga's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Sure. Oh. Nope. Anga's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location.
Aiming through the scope, Saga could see the flickering darkness that protected the Taken, saw it waver and jerk, saw a shifting opening in it. There, she fired, sending the bullet through to find its way home. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man. And he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. What has been, has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks.
Saga, welcome to the emergency muster point. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. It sure is a beautiful... Yes, Norman. This is the designated muster point. Not a date. Can't open this with my bare hands. used to this.
I need something to cut this. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic, depressive celebrity rider, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. be opened on this side. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant.
Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said, a man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark, the light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. There. Power's back on. Saga. Away. 
down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. stationed. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the Dark Presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Or is a romantic, huh? Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now see the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Anger's Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. The dark water pressed itself into her.
The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. Of my face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. With thunder and lightning and the hubris. That's not right. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the Dark Place's focus on art? real. Fuck this place. Am I going in circles? No power. Can't use the switch. Gruesome. Ritual.
I need to get the power on to use the switch. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? to reach the center. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end. Be nearby.
Back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! So damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. This is it for me. I can't stay in the water. She's under the water. I gotta get out of the water. She pushed her down.
I'm not leaving you here, Thor. Hold on! Apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. change the story if this is the past if this is you still in the dark place then you can do that right you cannot write her in she's my daughter god damn it logan is in the story i can get him to change it i have the clicker i'll make him change it now he had no right to do this to logan my family. Tor. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Look in the mirror, the cobweb.
web of my soul on my face forever seeking to be whole driven by passion raging like a storm with thunder and lightning and the hubris I was born blood hot and vain I rails to take it all to your pain your wounds my downfall you can't relight my fire when our shame becomes a pain Dive through the dark to find a light on the other side. You will find in there the peace you're missing. The man I drove.
We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. 
I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An amp? Get your guitar roaring, and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's gotta be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place. Thanks to their own powers. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. It's a lot to process. Hmm. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. The story doesn't affect me like it does other people. Because of who I am. Because of my family. <sighs> Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. See you soon, Saga. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. 
We have to work together to stop this. Get the clicker to wake, and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. <laughs> 